Right, so this is going to give you a quick guide on how to optimize images in Photoshop uh, ready for web presentation. So I've launched Photoshop and I go open. I've got a screenshot here I've taken of, a, of some mastering that I've been doing and I wanted to display it on the internet but it's what's called a PNG and um, it's way too big. It's about 430k and it's also much bigger visually than it should be as well. So I've navigated to the screenshot, open in Photoshop. And the first thing we want to do is define the actual width and size of the image. Um, so what we want to do is go up into image and scroll down image size. Now straight off the bat it'll actually show us how wide and how high the image is. It's 1280 by 1024. That's way too big for internet display. Probably the biggest you want to have is about 800 or so. It really depends on what you're uh, using it for. But generally 800 is about the maximum uh, width or height that you want. Um, well, what I usually choose is about 640. So I type in 640. Make sure down here you've got constrained proportions ticked and it will also automatically resize the height for you. I'm actually going to make this one a little bit bigger. 700. Go OK. Photoshop will resize it. Now to get it to look the size that it actually is going to be on the screen, uh, double click the hand. Oh yeah, double click the hand. And it pops it out to the full size that it is actually going to display at. So that looks pretty good for the actual size. Now what you want to do is go up into File, Save for Web and Devices. This opens up a particular dialog box that gives us a couple of choices to what format we save it in. Um, first of all, it'll give us a preview. Over here we've got different formats. You've got GIF, JPEG, PNG, and I don't know what that is, bitmap. Um, Alright, so for the web, in mostly JPEGs are the smallest. You, have to, you can muck around with it. With small images, sometimes the PNGs can actually be smaller files. Um, but JPEGs generally what we're looking for. What you want to do is grab this quality bar here. Really you want it to get it as low as possible without losing too much quality. And drop it down and let it go and it will resample it it'll tell you the size down here 63k now and just have a look at the image like have a look at it this is the screen resolution that it's going to be probably sometimes the best thing to do is actually just take it too far take it down really low it'll resample it now that looks pretty grainy but still usable really I mean possibly a little bit too much but 37k it's down to so I might bring it up to say 35 yeah now it's smoothed it out a little bit and it's got it down to 60k down here you can also change the screen resolution too that gives you a little bit closer although that gives you an unrealistic sort of view usually living at 100 percent is the go right so once you've got a good balance between the size and the quality that you're looking for just press save and it'll ask you to resave this so I'm going to resave it onto my desktop. Save. Close this image down. I could save that. Right, so here's the image here that's been optimized. Right click on that. 64K. And I go up in preview. And there's our optimized image ready to be uploaded into WordPress or put into a gallery or whatever.